Hello YouTube and LEGO fans, Destination LEGO here. Uh, welcome to another LEGO Star Wars Winter 2014 Wave of Sets review. So this is for the Jedi Interceptor set 75038. This is for ages 7 to 12. Comes with a piece count of 223. And it retails here in the UK currently for £19.99 from the LEGO store or the LEGO store online. Okay, so there you can see the front of the box. Just spin that round so you can have a quick look at the rear. Okay, there we go, there's the rear. Uh, it comes with one instruction manual, which we can see there. Okay guys, so let's have a look at the set. And there we go. So, this is our first look. Okay, sorry, there's a closer look. We just zoomed in now, so you can see there um, a little bit closer. So, two new minifigures or two new variants of minifigures on here. So, over on the right, we have R2-D2. Um, he's got some new printing on him. And on the left, we've got a new Anakin Skywalker. We'll take a closer look at those in a second. And then, obviously, the main craft, which is the Jedi Interceptor. So, let's just uh, give that a bit of a spin round you a bit of a closer or better look okay and back around okay so there we go so let's take a look at the minifigures to start with okay so let's take a quick look at R2-D2 so there you can see the printing detail on this R2-D2 to the front take it a spin round I see nothing on the rear body but on the top head section you can see that printing so if we just give that a spin round Okay, so that is our first minifigure, R2-D2. Okay, next up we have Anakin Skywalker. Okay, you see him there with his blue lightsaber. I'm just going to remove that so we can get a bit of a better look at Anakin. Okay. Hopefully there you can see there is, we do have leg printing on this version. And there the torso printing. And Anakin's just gone for a fall. Okay, I assume he was using the force then. Obviously going off to battle with someone, but he's back now. So there we can see a bit of a better look there, that front torso printing. And his face printing, and you can see this. Pretty cool hair piece that it's, he's got on. So I'm just going to remove. Oh, there, look at the rear torso printing. Let's remove that hair piece. We see some of that print in there. He's got this gold headset on, and this does have two sides. It's got the two-sided face. Okay, so some pretty cool printing on that, and I like the gold headset. So I'll just put that there back. Okay, so there is our Anakin Skywalker. Oh, and the final thing, obviously, we can see here. Obviously, that's with um, no glove on his hand, and now we can see it there. There we go. Right, so let's have a look at the actual Jedi Interceptor now. Let's get this to come into shot. Uh, here it comes. Okay, and there we go. It's our first kind of close look at the Jedi Interceptor. Okay, so you've ready the 360. I'm just going to show you some of the features on this now. First of all, oh, <laughs> there was one of them again. The spring-loaded flick fire, well not flick fire, spring-loaded missiles. I think you probably would have saw one of them fire out then, but one there and one goes in there. I'll show you that now. You can see 
the rear end of it and you can actually get a better look at that new spring loaded brick there so there's a spring inside this brick and then these just simply click into place so obviously when you push it up that click mechanism releases which forces the spring to push the missile out which is pretty much how these work so I'm just going to fire this from this shot actually so this is aiming up to my roof now and I suspect it probably will hit it so here we go and as you can see they are powerful they do go a long way um, so while we're on that view actually we have these flaps here these wings which do fold out on both sides like so so that's into our flight mode um, and the same again on top these adjust they can be adjusted right out like that but it's pretty much like that there are stickers on these on the inside which we can see there so on all four of these there is a sticker so that's those um, I guess the other main feature on this really is the cockpit area itself and this is all printed this is one print, printed piece this cockpit um, so that obviously raises up um, and inside here we obviously have where Anakin can sit and pilot the craft um, we have like this control panel here which is a sticker so this piece all here is a sticker these two clips here are for his lightsaber and I'll show you that in a second when I put them inside. This front piece here, this shield, again that is a printed piece which is good. Um, we have some detail down here um, these laser cannons in the middle. Okay so the main wings can be adjusted as well so these are on hinge pieces so this can if we wish to do so uh, move up into that position if we wanted to but push it back down like like so okay and then obviously cockpit can close down um, this piece here is a sticker as is there the small one there that is actually a printed piece and you get a spare one of those um, the cutout here is where R2-D2 sits, so that's in that wing, if I take that out so you can understand where we are. I'll show you a quick look at the rear, obviously we have the rear engine um, exhaust detail there. Um, and then that's obviously just the mechanism to open the um, cockpit up on. So that's a pretty good look around the aircraft, you see the underside there. Okay, so I'm just going to grab these spring-loaded missiles and just show you those going back into the Jedi Interceptor and how you load those in. Okay, so here we go. So there's, or here are rather, our two missiles. And I've showed you this before in previous videos, but in case you haven't checked those out, you can see the groove mechanism which holds them into place, hopefully on that. So... Like I said, down below there is where it goes in. And it's just simply a case of pushing that in, lining up the grooves, push it in and you'll hear it click. There you go, and the same on the other side. Push that all the way in, and it clicks into place. And to fire them, you just simply push down on the rear there. Okay. I'm just now going to show you what this is like with the minifigures um, actually inside the craft. Okay, first up R2-D2, so like I said he goes down there, so he just simply, and you can see there's a little 2x2 uh, two two plate there with the little stud on it, so that's what attaches him to it. Just sit him down inside. and he just sits there so that's R2-D2 in place and then Anakin will go in the cockpit so again the cockpit just opens so he's currently holding his lightsaber so let's take that off I'm trying to do this one handed okay he then can simply be seated inside the cockpit like so, the lightsaber you just take it into the two separate pieces let's take it out 
make it might be easier to get that in there. And that just simply the hilt and the actual sabre itself just clip into place there behind Anakin. Um, and then put him back inside. Okay, so there we have Anakin now piloting the Jedi Interceptor and then obviously the cockpit cover can be closed down. So there we go guys, that's pretty much it for this review. Pretty cool little craft. Um, yeah. Okay, there we go. So that's my review of this set complete. The Jedi Interceptor set 75038. Um, hopefully you did appreciate this review and liked it. If you do, please do go ahead and hit that like button. Um, as always, please provide any comments, questions, feedback down in the comments section. If you haven't done so already, um, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.